and thousands of residents across communities dotted along the Songo Lagoon in Ada East and West districts of the Greater Accra region are set to benefit from a 1,000-acre outgrower salt mining scheme launched by Electrochem Ghana Limited. The company's initiative aims to boost the local economy by granting residents mining concessions with a guaranteed market. So far, seven community groups have joined the initiative, which is expected to tackle youth unemployment in the area and boost sustainable salt mining. Carlos Caloni reports. Open to all eligible citizens of Ada East and West districts, the 1,000-acre outgrower salt mining scheme launched by Electrochem Ghana Limited aims to empower local salt miners and transform the economic fortunes of Adan resident. At the launch, a CEO of Electrochem, Abdul Razak Adam, highlighted the initiative's importance in technology transfer for sustainable salt production and job creation for the local communities. As of today, we have 70 community plans that are either completed or at various stages of completion across seven different project affected communities. These plans are constructed at full expense of electric camp and handed over at free of charge to the communities. So far, 499 acres have been uh, earmarked to be done. The medium term to long term vision is take this to about 1,000 acres. One of the core values of this initiative is about enhancing socioeconomic development. Through this scheme, community members will have the opportunity as identifiable group to pool resources and knowledge to establish themselves as registered businesses. Some of these businesses will train them on responsible mining with our own resources. We train them on business, business uh, management, and we train them with sound entrepreneurship, bookkeeping, and what have you, to make sure that they indeed become successful businesses. Delivering a speech after the launch on behalf of the Paramount Chief of Ada, Nene Kabuakuaku III, Mankralo of Ada Traditional Council, Nene Agude Ubitre II, urged residents to take advantage of the scheme. He also appealed to the company to expand quickly to other parts of the lagoon to boost local employment. We are witnessing the additional grant of land areas to indigenous for salt making under what we call the outgrower growers model. I urge all persons who have had doubts and apprehensions about EGL's involvement of local communities in salt mining to take this opportunity to apply to be allotted portions for their use in salt mining. I want to remind everyone that we owe it a sacred duty to ensure the rapid rollout of EGL's operation to uncover the entire lease as quickly as possible to increase employment avenues available to our people. Beneficiaries who say they are grateful for the coming of the scheme believe the project has the potential to transform the economic fortunes of local residents. These outgrowers it's not only going to be business as usual, but our people will benefit from capacity building, technology transfer, making our people very resourceful in the future. In My colleague Carlos Caloni joins us via Zoom. Carlos, so just first confirm for us that Electrochem Ghana is the one giving out these mining concessions to the uh, residents of the communities. And what's the latest on that? So this is an initiative by the Electrochem Ghana Limited. You know, the uh, lagoon has been uh, leased to Electrochem and uh, across all the communities that are close to the uh, lagoon, the residents there are actually going to benefit from uh, this particular initiative uh, from Electrochem. He thought to these guys were into what they call uh, a chapo. Uh, which was more or less an illegal salt mining initiative, which was not sustainable. But now Electrochem is saying that, well, we have uh, restored the lagoon and we are giving you the opportunity to mine sustainably. They're going to uh, be able to harvest salt four times in a year. Uh, he thought they were doing about just once a year. And these people are supposed to pull themselves into groups of about 50 you put yourself together, you go to the company, you get registered, 
and a land is given to you to mine and uh, uh, Electrochem is ready to buy the uh, uh, product from this company. So far, about uh, seven of uh, such companies have been uh, given the opportunity and they've been given lands to start to mine in salt there, sweetie. And this comes as good news to the residents, does it not? Indeed, uh, if you really follow that story, how the youth of Adan over time have actually um, uh, stood against Electrochem. Uh, when we spoke to the youth group in the community, they say this is a welcoming news, the fact that uh, either they were harvesting once a year, and now yeah. with the introduction of this outgrower scheme, they'll have the opportunity to harvest four times a year, which means that they're going to make four times the profit they were making. It's a welcoming news. So the traditional authority, the youth groups are all welcoming uh, this initiative by Electrochem Ghana Limited. Thank you, Carlos Coloni. Now